Hey guys, for those of you who have had problems with your F9 on Boot Up Restore after migrating an HDD to an SSD, or for some other reason, I want to show you one possible solution to try. Now this is just a method that I determined and I am sure there are many other methods to restoring your computer. This process involves actually shifting and copying partitions on your system, and therefore you will need to install the Ease US Partition Manager Free Edition or an equivalent partition manager that can shift and copy partitions on your system. So we're just going to start off by right clicking the bottom left of your screen and opening up the disk manager. You may have been to the disk management section before and noticed that you have this 20 gigabyte OEM partition that has no options when you right click it. As you can see, the only option you have is Windows Help. So basically, what we want to do is make an exact copy of this OEM partition, give it a name, and make it an accessible primary partition that Windows Restore can recognize. By this process, we can run Windows Restore and it will give us the option to restore the computer back to factory defaults. An important thing to note is that this process does not correct the F9 recovery method made by ASUS, but instead it gives an alternative method to restore your computer by using a Windows recovery disk or recovery drive. Once you've installed EZUS Partition Master, go ahead and start it up. We want to copy the restore partition, which should be the last partition to the far right and then place it in a space such as beside the data partition. First, select the data partition, then select resize. Decrease the partition size by a value more than 20 gigabytes. In my case, I'm going to reduce it from about 265 gigabytes to 240 gigabytes. Select the unallocated space after to tell the program that the reduced size should be shrunk from the right. Once that's done, press OK. Select the Restore Partition, select Copy, when it's finished, press Next. Make sure that the unallocated space we made is selected in this window and then press Next. We want to shift the partition so that the leftover space is to the left of this copied partition. That way, we can increase the size of the data partition afterwards. Select the unallocated space after section and type 0. Select the unallocated space before section so that the program places the unallocated space to the left of the partition. Finally, let's give a meaningful label to this partition. I'm going to name mine Restore 3. However, you can name it whatever you like. Go ahead and hit finish when you're done. And finally, we're going to increase the size of the data partition so that we don't have any wasted unallocated space on our hard drive. Once you've selected the data drive, click on the resize button on the main toolbar. Increase the partition size by adding the unallocated space after amount to the current partition size. You can also simply drag the above bar by sliding the little blue circle to the far right end. Select the unallocated space after section to update the information, then press OK when you are done. We can now apply all the changes we've made. Click the Apply button on the main toolbar. Additionally, we can delete the OEM Restore Partition to save space. However, you may want to keep this partition in case you would like to send your laptop back to ASUS for repairs. If you would like to recover 20GB of space on your hard drive, we can delete the partition here and expand the C or D drives to increase available hard disk space. Go ahead and right click the restore partition and delete it if you would like to do that. Once we have modified the partitions on our hard drive, we need a Windows recovery disk or a Windows recovery drive to boot the operating system in recovery mode. Right click the bottom left corner of your screen and open the control panel. In the top right search, type in recovery. Under System, click on Create a Recovery Drive. 
You may want to copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive if you have a large enough USB. It is not crucial to have this option selected as we have created the recovery partition on our computer from which Windows can restore from. Go ahead and press next when you are ready. There you have it. To restore your computer, just simply boot off the USB or disk we made and follow the on-screen prompts to restore Windows back to factory settings. In order to boot off the USB or disk, you may have to go to the BIOS of the computer by pressing F2 on startup and then overriding the default boot priorities. Thanks for watching and good luck on restoring your laptop.